Well, I think, you know, second and third, you, you probably question that. First and third, um, you know, I, I think especially the way uh, Kluber's been pitching, uh, you know, he, he had some, he had a good at bat uh, early in the game, and then he had one where Kluber, you know, really threw some tough pitches to him. His ball moves all over the place. So, um, you know, I think if it was second and third, it'd be one thing. First and third, you, you know, you have a chance to get him roll over, maybe hit him in a double play. But uh, Hosey was, was great tonight. I think just staying through the middle of the field, uh, coming up with some big RBIs for us. He didn't seem to hit a strike either. That pitch from Kluber, he kind of went out and Yeah, got you know, I think thing. he's learned how to stretch out a little bit, knowing the situation and, uh, you know, basically hitting where he's hitting and, and doing the things he's done this year. He's, I'm, you know, getting RBIs, you got to extend it a little bit, and, and he did. Uh, you know, I thought Hector, Hector threw, you know, a, a great game. You know, he's going up against a tough pitcher, and being able to get us to that point uh, was uh, was big. And then, uh, you know, with Javi coming in there, um, you know, he, he's tough on lefties. Looks like you had a real good case at home plate. Yeah, that you know, it's always up for interpretation. So, um, you know, hope, hopefully something gets done there. Talked before the game about pretty much everybody on the roster, you know, auditioning for roles next year or whatever. Hector, right in there. I mean, he's it he just, is, especially where you know where we got him. Um, you know, to be at this point and, and doing the things he's doing. He, I mean, tonight he looked sharp. He had an extra day of rest, but I, I think his fastball was just extra sharp tonight. It just looked like he was. He was sneaking it up on some people, and and that's throwing it, you know, 93, 94. But it, it was it was jumping on some people. I know you managed the, sorry, I know you managed the White Sox, but are you always surprised when they pitch to Abreu with the games on the line? Well, again, I, I think if they had an open base that was uh, obvious, you know, if they had first base open, it's it's a different thing. It's. Uh, a totally different one to to do it and push another guy in the scoring position. So, uh, you know, he, I mean, he does make outs. It's not like he doesn't make outs, but, um, you know, he makes some quality at bats, though. I think that's the biggest thing that he does in uh, tough situations. He, he makes some uh, quality ones. How impressive is this late in the season? He's still finding ways to be productive. Maybe it's not power, but he seems to still be getting hits. So. Well, he has it there. You know, I think you're always going to have to do the other stuff. I mean, power will always be there for him because he's that strong. But, uh, you know, if the only thing you did was was hit homers, he, he wouldn't be in the situation that he's in. I think he's, he's driving in a lot of tough runs for us, not only with the home run, but with, with base hits and, and big situations. Is that going to be neat to see him hit that 100 RBI mark? I mean, it seems to be a milestone, especially he's a young player. You know, it's not even September. Is that going to be kind of fun? For yeah, him? I mean, it's it's a benchmark for anybody. I mean, anytime you get close to 100, it, I mean, you realize how difficult it is to do. And for him to be there, you know, going through this for the first time is, is impressive.